Hey everybody, it's Kate here, and as you can see, it sounds like I have a mouthful of food or metal or whatever, and um, that's because I just got my herbs appliance earlier today, and um, I wanted to mention that I might be starting like a daily vlog type of thing, where probably in the first week or two weeks, I'll be making a little video every day telling you about my herbs appliance and how it's doing, and um, what to expect if you get one or someone that you know is going to get one. Um, and yeah, I just thought it would be helpful to a lot of people because when I was learning about what the Herbs Appliance was and um, I wasn't sure what to expect, there was only one guy that made like a vlog type of video, but there were only like five or six of them and they weren't super informative, so I was still like really in the middle of nowhere with the idea of the herbs appliance um so i thought this would just be really helpful to everybody who wants to watch so basically a herbs appliance is a headgear that you wear around your head but they made it like future like so that it can go in your mouth and um it's really big still but at least you don't have to remember to put it on and off it's always in your mouth and usually people only need it for about 18 months to cure any type of overbite or underbite or um, crossbite, which is what I have. A really, I have a really small overbite, but I have a really bad crossbite. So it's going to solve both of those things at once in only 18 months. And yeah, so that's basically what it is. It's like any orthodontic made out of metal. They use orthodontic glue on it. Pop it in your mouth. Um, so I will show you what it looks like now. So, in the front, what you have there is the little bands that they have around your mouth. And when I had an expander for the top to make it wider, um, I had the same type of bands, but just around the top, and I had nothing on the bottom. So that's the same thing. But it extends out, and you have a place where you can screw in the little pole. So you can see that. See, it goes, and then you screw in this hole right there. And, um, sorry, that's really gross, but I'm just, I'm just trying to share this info with you guys because I think I would find it really helpful. Um, so you basically, you have the band around your tooth, which they use the orthodontic glue for. And then they have another piece of metal sticking out where you can screw in this band right here. Or, not band, this little pole right here. And the pole connects to another pole that's hollow so it goes inside of it so you can open and mouth close your mouth and it slides up and down so it's like you can still move your mouth around a lot and basically you have the same type of band contraption at the top and it extends out so you can have the other pole which is hollow where the other pole can go inside so you can see Like that. And it's just all connected. And then the poles are completely loose. So they don't recommend you to take them out at all. But if you want to take them out, it's better to take them out after the first week or two. So that your mouth can adjust to the soreness of having it. And then once the soreness goes away, you get more used to taking it in and out. And it's still really hard for me to put it back in. So I'm going to take it out in a separate clip. And then show you how to put it back in. And probably speed it up because it still takes me a while. Um... And I've tried, I went to lunch right after I got it in, and it was really difficult for me to eat. It's hard to eat crunchy things because it gets stuck in all this little appliances and stuff, even more than the expander bands in the back um, that I had. And it's just, it keeps poking you and you need to swish your mouth every, one, well, every few bites or else just you have a whole bunch of food in your mouth stuck in the appliance so you can't swallow it and it's it's really gross, but... I mean, that's how it goes. So, um, and then to hold the bands in the back, and because this has to extend out a little bit from the back tooth, a uh, tooth or two, they need a band around the inner part of, um, the bottom teeth. So I'll show you that. And as you can see, my poles just fell out because I had to open my mouth really wide to show you. But when you open your mouth wide enough, the poles detach and then they just hang. So you can see. 
they're completely loose and the top ones are too I'm gonna turn on the light so you can see a little bit better and those are just hooked around your back teeth in the top and the bottom and they connect um so that's basically all that you can see about the herpes plants and then here i'm going to try and show you how you put them back in what you can't do is put in one pole hold it with your fingers and then slide in the other one and hold it with your fingers and then bite down on it and that will close it but it usually takes me way longer to do that um because <laughs> it just it's hanging out of my mouth um it takes longer to do that because when you put them both in at the same time and bite down, they'll go in sync. But when you do it one at a time, it goes down, 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 and just it gets caught up. So, see if I can show you. I like to bring these to the front first. And see, I had it in this one, but I couldn't get it in this one, and you can't do it, them at separate times, so. Sorry about the awkward silence of me trying to put the poles in, but it is quite a struggle, and I'm guessing that you get used to it. Like, you get used to talking with it in your mouth and eating and things like that. But it just took me a while because I've only done it a few times. Haha, -ha, victory. Okay, so you can see how long that takes. I've only had to reattach it three times since I got it and I got it like five hours ago but it's just because I have a habit of opening my mouth really wide when I talk and like when you're eating I, I was eating like a burrito that I made and you have to open your mouth really wide for that and they just kept coming apart so I ended up eating with them apart for a little while then I went to the bathroom put them together and then switched around my mouth when I came back to the table to um just get all the extra like rice and beans and <laughs> stuff out and it's it's like really gross but it's you're just gonna have to deal with it when you get the herbs and plants because it's really the easiest method these days to um straighten your teeth out like that when you when your teeth are singularly like crooked all you need is braces and it'll straighten it out and it'll be perfectly fine and some people only need bands for their overbite because it's so small and it's really a com cosmetic thing when you need bands but i have a small overbite which this isn't mostly for my overbite it's for my crossbite and crossbite is when your jaw one side of your jaw grows um like faster than the other so my right side of my I think it's the right no it's the left side well my left your right probably um that side of my jaw on the bottom row grows faster than the right side so my teeth are moved over that way you can see they don't align with my big top teeth so that's what this is going to do it's going to kind of put pressure on my teeth to move back this way and really just restrict the growth of my left side and let my right side grow out so that they can both be even on the sides and just match up in the middle um so yeah that's basically all i have to say today except for that at the beginning it will they said oh you won't have any soreness um it won't be painful it really wasn't painful just the pressure of them like putting them on and having to bite down and stuff like that um and I like to like rest my hands on my head on my desk when I'm like watching tv and stuff um which you do not want to do because then you're pressing your teeth together and it'll just mm, wait you don't want to rest your back teeth together at first because that gets really sore so I took an Advil earlier and it helped a little bit but really, just try not to put too much pressure on your mouth and don't eat, like, a lot of food. Don't, like, pleasure eat. Um, 
So yeah, that's basically all I have to say today. I will probably come in tomorrow and then the next day for about a week or maybe two weeks if I have that much to say about it. Um, so yeah, I just hope you found this helpful and you're excited for the next Terps Appliance like vloggish type of video. Um, so yeah. Bye.